And let's get straight into the tea. Y'all know what happened with, um, Megan the horse? She, um, okay. And let me break it down for y'all bitches who don't know shit. Um, she beat up, um, what's that singer? The one who think he better than everybody but he went bald? I, <laughs> Child, I gotta catch back up on his music. Um, well, whatever, yeah, the little short boy, she beat him up and come to find out they both ladybugs. See, the story is, Megan is really a man, and he's a ladybug, and they was dating on the low. They got into a fight, and Megan started beating him up, so he shot her. Girl, he shot her. Megan, I know you see me on the television. I know you see me on the YouTube. But you don't know me in real life, little homie. You better play it cool. Love you, cousin Shrimp. If you don't like me, then do somebody. You mad about it, then do somebody. You broke nigga, then do somebody. You ain't getting bitches, then do somebody. Do somebody. Do somebody. Do somebody. Boy, you better do somebody. You know, and you can claim you were sick and you know this and that and you do you but your dick wasn't sick, was it? That was working pretty good, wasn't it? You wasn't too sick to be stroking. You know, but that vet uh that vet pool nanny uh, put it on you. It's too good for you. You know, and y'all vets, y'all gotta, you know, stop putting the good good on these young boys because they ain't ready to handle it. You know, it's levels to the, you know, uh, it's levels to it. Don't give the good strokes, because you know they gonna go crazy. You know, if Will was done with her, and was like, you know, I'm done, you know, let's separate, you go your own way, I'm going my own way. Jada was like, okay, you don't want me no more, let me show you what I can do. I can still pull these young boys and, 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 and get it popping. If you don't want me, I'm moving on to something else. You know, the best way to get over somebody is to get up under somebody else. Sometimes, you know. But when you realize that it's just a sexual thing and, and they really can't fulfill you, you really don't see a life with them, you know. You thinking and you like, I want my husband, you know. I, I want that life. You know, y'all talk about, you know, Jada this and Jada that, but Jada sacrificed a lot for Will. Y'all, you know, while he was out in Hollywood making movies and doing things like that, she gave up her career to be a, a housewife and be home. It was a while that we didn't really see Jada in a lot of stuff, and I used to say something about it like, why Jada stop acting? Will was still doing his big pictures and doing everything, and, uh, you know, and ain't nobody talking about Dwayne uh, Tisha uh, Campbell's husband. When they was in the entanglement, allegedly, y'all act like Will ain't never did none. His stuff just ain't came out. Like Jadis did because, you know, maybe ain't nobody angry enough. Maybe he paying them off, you know, but it, it is what it is. If they want to be together and they can deal with that, let them deal with it. Y'all act like y'all ain't never did nothing. Some of y'all still cheating on y'all men. Some of y'all still entangled. Some of y'all still entangled, but you want to criticize and judge somebody else. At least they were separated. She didn't do it while they was in the situation. If he love her and she love him and they, if that's the relationship that they want. See, you got to define your own relationships. Don't let nobody else tell you what your relationship should be. And that's how people get caught up in these situations that they ain't happy in. Because they decide to go with what society think their relationship should be like. You define your relationship. You love how you want to love and find somebody that love you the same way. You know, if this person wants an open relationship and you don't and y'all try to be together, it's going to be some problems. Lord, you know, you know, and y'all know I hate coming on here doing all of this. You know what I'm saying? And y'all probably looking at me, you know, like with, with my beard. This ain't got nothing to do with my beard. 
You know, y'all thought I was, you know, uh, d d ugly up under the beard, so I had to cut it to let y'all know that, you know, it, it, it. Bumps where? Ingrown's hair is where? No, I'm just playing. No, but you know, and uh, let me just keep on going, you know, because it's something else I want to talk about. Uh, Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion. And you know, this is going to be the last one I talk about because, you know, this, all of this is just, it's just too much for me right now. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't, you ain't heard the story, Yeen, if Yeen, Y E E N, if you ain't heard the story, Megan Thee Stallion got shot in the foot by Tory Lanez. Now, allegedly, because neither one of them it came out, Tory, he been ghost. You know, Megan, she, you know, she recovering, you know, she walking around the house on crutches and uh, one of them, you know, uh, things that you got to ride around like this on. Yeah. I don't think she doing too much twerking right now. You know, we'll see how her twerk is after the, you know, uh, recovery. We'll see how good them knees work. You know, you can't put too much pressure on that shot foot. And, you know, I'm not even making light of it. You know, it's a serious thing. You know, uh, abuse and the, and the physical abuse and all of this thing is crazy. You know, uh, so allegedly, you know, Megan and Tori was secretly seeing each other. Now, you know, I guess she kept it a secret because he was too short and she was embarrassed. You know, you go from money bag yo to Tory Lanez. You go from 6'2 to 5'2. You know, but uh, obviously his, his, his penis ain't 5'2. Maybe that's where the other inches went. Because he was, you know... Climbing a tree. Allegedly. No, man, they ain't, they ain't no allegedly. They was you know, so they decide to go to Kylie Jenner party. Now, this is where, you know, when I seen the whole video with her going live with Kylie Jenner and all of that stuff, I felt it was kind of sketchy at that point. You know, because you everything ain't for Twitter and Instagram. You want to show video that you kicking it with Kylie Jenner, but... You know, the first thing that came to my mind is loyalty. Wasn't you kicking it with uh, Kylie Jenner's ex-best uh, friend? Y'all was in videos after after they fell out. You started befriending her, and y'all was kicking it hard. You know, driving the boat and all of that kind of stuff. So now the, opp the first opportunity you go to get kick it with Kylie, you over Kylie's house. And you know, I know it don't matter, but for me, if I'm friends with somebody and you don't rock with somebody, like I say, I don't fuck with people who fuck with people that I don't fuck with. And that's just me. I was just raised differently. If you one of my best friends and you don't like and y'all ain't not, I'm not, I don't need that. I'm cool. Now, if we all was friends in the beginning, you know, and y'all fell out, that's different. So she goes over to Kylie Jenner house, you know, for a little pool party and she goes live to show video that she kicking it with Kylie. Kylie like we oh, we live, you know, you know, Kylie don't really go live. Everything she do is, you know, scans, you know, I'm going to promote this. I'm going to do this. I'm a, you know, she's very, you know, with her image. So Megan Cloud Chasing wants to show the video. You see Tori in the background coming up. Megan talking about some, you know, what? don't get my phone wet, Tori. You know. But allegedly, Tori was a little too friendly or flirting or, you know, a little too friendly with Kylie. You know, the billionaire, you know, Kardashian. He in her presence like, ooh, I'm like, she bad. Or they say, you know, Ky I, I doubt if Kylie would choose Tori Lanez over uh, uh, her baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? But... You never know, you know, but something happened because Megan unfollowed Kylie Jenner and Tory Lanez. So she must be mad at Kylie, too. And, you know, in, in this 
entertainment industry, when you unfollow somebody, that mean I don't want to see nothing you post. I don't rock with you. We don't talk. Don't DM me. I, we ain't rocking. That's the new way of saying I don't, I don't fuck with you. So he was being a little too flirtatious or she was a little too friendly and, and Megan got jealous. So they get into it. And word on the curb is that Megan was giving the, throwing the, bop, bop, no, you know, I, I don't know. But you know, she is about six feet with heels on. And Tori, you know, 5'3", uh, 120 pounds, you know, Megan Thick. I heard she was disrespecting them. You ain't got no number ones. I did a song with Beyonce and uh, the, Nikki. And you ain't nothing. Like, you, do you know who I am? Like, you disrespect me and they was she was just violating them. Violating them. Even probably hit them. With a left, right, left, right. Need them and everything. Uh, like, Tori, what you gonna do? So Tori, you know, feeling like his manhood was tested. They arguing in the car and things like that. I guess Tori up piped a pistol. He done up piped on her. Now Tori, there's no coming back from this man. You don't pull out no weapon on no woman. You pulled out a... What's going on? Now, is it Corona? What did they, I think they got Corona. Something is messed up. With, something, something happening. They, they got Corona. They need to get tested. Why would you pull out a pistol on Megan? This ain't Harlem Nights. If she was beating you up, disrespecting you, just take the L. How you gonna come back from this? Now you might go to jail. You know, and in the beginning she tried to protect them, talking about some she stepped on some glass and this and that, and then, you know, when she go to the hospital, she switched the story up. Saying, you know, and she go on social media and say that somebody shot at her with the intention to do bodily harm. So she said, yeah, he meant to do it. That's all you need in the court of law. That's try snitching. I guess it ain't snitching if you're a woman and you, you know, but the whole thing is, if this was a man who beat up on a woman, it's just no way out of this. You know, Tori, your career over, bro. And anybody who want to work with Tori and, 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 and do that, I ain't got no respect for y'all either. You don't, you don't shoot a woman. You just don't. I, I don't care what she did. She could have body slammed you, you know, need you, uh, squatted over you and, and peed on you. You don't pull out a pistol on a woman. If you can't beat her, leave her. You know, just take the L. Only a couple people seen you get uh, drop kicked. You know, TMZ ain't had the footage, so you good. You know, I don't know how that would translate in your music, you know, but now, you, you know, you might get deported. Send them back to Canada. We don't need this kind of stuff. And this is, you know, we don't need this kind of violence and, and, and craziness going on in America with our celebrities. And Megan... <sighs> I know you didn't do the song with Beyonce, you know, and I know you got Nicki on the track, you know, Hot Girl Summer, and you know, uh, you know, uh, you a savage and all of that kind of stuff, but you really, I heard you really is a savage. The song one line, was it? Stop disrespecting these men and uh, blowing up and swinging on them and hitting on them and calling them short and, you know, because he wasn't short and stout and, you know, all of that when he was piping you down. You was loving them then, wasn't you? 
But the moment, you know, uh, something go wrong, oh, you ain't nothing, you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't got no records, you ain't got nothing, you know what I'm saying? You, you want to be Drake? You go, you go disrespect him, but I wasn't wanting to be Drake when I was um, all up in them good huts. Was I? Lord Jesus, I, I, you know, these these people need to get out of quarantine. Let these, Lord Jesus, heal this world and let these people go back on tour. Because they doing too much. They doing too much. Yeah. I'm exhausted. You know, I'm going to have to go get another cup of wine after this video. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to let my cousins talk about it. You know, my cousins is here with me. You know, if you're new to the channel, I'm Trip and I'm your cousin. Your favorite cousin. Because, you know, we chop it up and we keep it 100. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. You know, and I don't, you know, you can say what you want to say. If you disagree with anything I said, a lot of y'all Kardashian haters and uh, um, Stallioneers. Um, Tate Martians and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Will Smith, uh, Jada Pinkett haters, all of y'all, you know, all of y'all free and welcome to say what y'all want to say. This is just how I feel about it. I love y'all, you know, and let's run these numbers up, man. I told y'all I'm back and I'm back. I'm trying to get to 20K. So let's make that happen. Thumbs up this video. Like this video, man. I love y'all. Y'all know it's all love. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here for y'all entertainment, man. I'm here to teach. Strike up a conversation so we can get things popping, man. You know. Uh, and uh, until the next video. Mm. I'm out. Holla.